Kirsten Cinema's most recent tweet, meeting with the military to discuss the military priorities and securing the annual defense bill. What a sharp contrast. I think that's why she's wearing a black and white shirt to show the contrast between people who fight for the freedom and the right to vote and someone who fights against it. Discussing military priorities, is, I don't even think that's her job, is it? She's probably making sure that if Americans rebel because their right to vote is gone, that they will step in on her side to uphold fascism. That's something I've been thinking about a lot lately. Imagine you're like a veteran, you know, you got hit by something, you're in a wheelchair, you've seen your friends get blown apart fighting overseas. You're stationed somewhere on the other side of the globe fighting a fascist nation, trying to help install a democracy, fighting for America's right to vote for freedom around the world. I can't imagine the feeling of seeing this nation just say, eh, we changed our minds. I guess fascism's cool. And yeah, who cares about that silly constitution? We don't need to enforce it all. We get to pick and choose which parts of it to enforce. Forget about the 14th Amendment, Section 3. Biden recently met with Cinema and Mansion. I wonder if he taught them what to say in their crisis acting or made sure not to mention or talk about the fact that he was in on it. If you ever wondered what crisis acting is, let me show you real quick. Over the Senate 60 vote threshold shines a light on our broader challenges. There's no need for me to restate my long-standing support for the 60 vote threshold to pass. Let's Hashtag crisis actress. And let me show you the Freedom to Act bill. A few things that it does. I want to talk about one thing specifically. Um, that first bullet point there makes it a holiday. That's a really important one in my opinion. I've noticed that the rich Republican business owners always call a bunch of meetings on election day. And a lot of liberals misunderstand what is going on right now. It's not like, you know, somewhere black people don't have the actual right to vote. It's more about making it harder to vote. And just one example, you know, one study found that the wait times in black areas are 29% longer. It's a concept called the nudge and things like that have a way bigger impact on affecting the numbers than you would think. Especially when you got people out there working two and three jobs. Voter ID laws, you might not think of the price of your license as much, but for someone who's really struggling, you know, they might not have the money to get that. But the fact that every Republican would vote against this shows you that they are terrorists. The insurrectionist party wants to undo all the wars